What's your name? My name is Tamela Urgiles. I'm 25 years old. I'm Cuencana. Oh. I was born here and I lived most of my life here. Did you ever travel anywhere? I traveled to Costa Rica for two years and then I came back. Oh. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Costa Rica? Uh, Costa Rica is really nice. It's yeah. also a place for meeting new people, foreigners, a lot of foreigners. But once I came back, I realized that Cuenca was getting there, like really close yeah. to how Costa Rica is in, in those matters of getting foreigners here. You surprised me. When I came in here yesterday and then I left, you sent security to go catch me. And, you, and I came back and you were just, you were very outgoing. And you told me about the program, uh -huh. which we'll mention in a moment. But it surprised me. My thought was you weren't from Cuenca because most people I meet in Cuenca are very reserved, uh -huh, very kind of. formal, mm -hmm. formal, okay. and um, they're not very outgoing. And in my videos, I went to Colombia recently and I used to live there. People there are very outgoing. Yeah, they search for attention, like, yeah. can I help you with something, yeah. anything? They look for a reason. Mm -hmm. And the coast is something kind like of similar. that. Uh -huh. And so when I met you yesterday, I thought, maybe you're from the coast, maybe you're from Colombia. Uh -huh. Some people, some clients here have said that I'm from Venezuela and I'm like, no, no, I'm Cuenca. Yeah, well, that may be because there's so many Venezuela sí. girls working in restaurants in Cuenca. There is now. And okay, so let's talk about why you sent security to uh -huh. catch me. I was trying to get your attention and then since you were kind of far, I was like, okay, please help me. Because I arrange uh, meetings with Spanish speakers and English speakers. So they can, uh, through conversation, they can communicate and they can learn also at the end. Um, at least some pronunciation, some vocabulary. You can learn a lot of stuff, even uh, about people. You can have new friends. Uh, we've been doing this for almost three years. We stopped for a while, but then we are coming back again. That's why I was trying to get more people involved. I always search for mostly uh, expats or people that come here to learn English or are living here, traveling. Um, I study at college uh, English literature and language, so I have a lot of classmates that want to learn English but they don't have the, the tools or maybe they don't have the money to go to a private school and sometimes college isn't that easy, you don't have contact with English speakers, native English speakers, so you don't, ha you don't well they don't develop their skills as much as uh, some others, at least I had the chance to interact with a lot of foreigners, that's why I got some pronunciation uh, skills. And I want, I don't know, help people and at the end see how can I get something uh, through helping people. Maybe we can make this business bigger, but we're little baby steps. We're seeing what we can do for the community and what we can get also from the community, but we're, we're getting there. It's awesome. Uh -huh, it's really awesome. I really enjoyed it because I get to meet people and also help people because that's important. You, I don't do this for myself because I see how this helps people and how at the end they are like, this is so nice, thank you so much. And I appreciate how people appreciate what I do. And it gives me like, I don't know, like the strength or maybe the energy to do it again or doing it the next week. That's why I do these videos. See, because it's the you same enjoy thing. Uh -huh. you enjoy how people react to what you do. And it's awesome. It's awesome to see how grateful they are because you're doing this not for getting something. Well, we want to get something at the end, but we're not in a hurry. Like we don't do this. Like, okay, what is the best way to learn? I lived in Japan for three years and while I took a a class in Japanese for one year. I didn't really learn anything valuable there. But I lived in Japan and, and so I had no choice but, but to, to interact. Uh -huh. And in one year I was fluent. Exactly. Uh, and the, my Japanese friends told me I didn't even have an accent. You were kind of one of them. Yeah, now I struggle with Spanish. I lived in Colombia for a while, as I mentioned. My ex wife is from Colombia. And there, at that time, this was 15 years ago, they, um, nobody spoke English. And I met her because I was doing a job and they sent her for a translation, except I didn't understand a word she said because she learned it 
from another Colombian teaching English. He had no idea what it actually what sounded it like. And so it, she was incomprehensible. I had no idea what, what she, she was, was saying. saying. Yeah. So this sort of thing is really perfect. And there's a lot of people on social media expats that are asking about programs like this. Uh -huh, exactly. I and wanna... so I'm going to make sure that I put that on all those pages. Oh, thank you so much. That would be really good because I've been trying to get their attention to Gringo Post, expat yeah. groups. I made a group of Talk and Learn that you can search for it. It's, we have a uh, Facebook page and a group also. They are linked. So you can put, I don't know, maybe your, if you have any questions or you have any su suggestion that you want to make or maybe something that you want to learn, uh, those things. I want to get people involved so they can also give something that they want so we can also know what they need and it will be easier for us to see what people want, um, what's the best way for them to learn because we've seen that it's not the same for everyone because right. sometimes people are kind of... Uh, they don't talk too much, or sometimes they they feel like ashamed of being wrong, and that's kind of a barrier because you cannot cross that barrier and you keep having the same mistakes because you feel that you cannot fix them. Well, so. I have to admit that happened to me. Mm -hmm. When I was in Colombia, I was trying to use Spanish, and I stopped for a lot of years because we were at Café de Parque, uh -huh. and with all of her family, well not all, but Most a lot of her family. family. Yeah. And I was looking at this little model, and it had a, a little kitchen. And I, and I said, oh look, a cochina. <laughs> now, to, to be you. fair, my friend is Italian, and an Italian cochina is a kitchen. Uh -huh, and then she and that's the mistake I made. But everybody was laughing, and they want me to say it again. And, <laughs> and so I was traumatized. Of course, and you don't, you didn't want to make any mistakes again. You were like, and I don't get embarrassed, but I was actually embarrassed. I, I was embarrassed, and um, it affected me. So I know what you're saying. See, and I've seen people getting like really troubled and unconfident, and they don't want to get more things done. But hopefully, with this help, they can be more open, and they can find new friends. They can uh, learn how to communicate communicate better because sometimes we also use words that. In other Spanish, you cannot find, right. and you find yourself like puzzled, like what? What is this? What do you mean? Uh, exactly. <laughs> Idioms, things like well, we repeat all the time, and sayings that for others are like what? Why? But this is a way for people to socialize those kinds of things and learn. The living more. language. Exactly. How the so how our community or how our social environment helps us communicate, or the tools that it gi gives us to communicate. It's awesome. I really enjoy Okay, so I'm going to uh, put on the video um, the website uh -huh. and the information. Great. And for anybody who wants to meet Pamela, you can come down to the... Talk and Learn meeting. Sports Bar? See, si, this is a Sports Planet. Sports you Planet. You can find me here and talk to me anytime. I'm here almost every day. And when I'm not here, I'm in Talk and Learn, doing what I love. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. so much. Now I'll be back with my job. You know you could